Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to The Room! Despite the movie of the same name, this has nothing to do with that. In fact, this is a puzzle game, believe it or not. It's a very short puzzle game. Um, it only has a few chapters. I think, like, yeah, it only has about four chapters. Um, and the idea of this game is that everything takes place in a room. Um, it was kind of a experimental game, I guess. And while I've beaten it, it takes about two hours, I guess, the first time I played through. Two, two and a half hours when I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I felt like playing through it. I don't know. I played through it on my own. I bought it on sale over Halloween. And, um, yeah, I guess I just figured that I would, uh, play it on, play it on here. I haven't uploaded anything recently, so... Let's just do this. Okay, so, grab the key. Get the other way. I know it's a small... No, I want to read the... I want to read the message. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll turn your thing. I'll play your tutorial. Alright. Open. Alright, feed me and I shall arrive. Give me a drink and I shall die. Okay, so that's a puzzle. This is what this game is. This game is almost always puzzles. Yes, it's a curious eyepiece. Click on the eyepiece, you can see things differently than you saw before. Yes, so that's a clue. So let's go back to here so I can actually read this thing. Alright, you came. Then your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside the box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. This is the only one in existence. This is the key to incomprehensible power. Well, it's incomprehensible how you're writing about it. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in your solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. The enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Well, you could just tell me the stakes, but also this is a wooden box. I'm pretty sure you could just smash into it. But anyway, uh, if you look at the box, it has a lot of mechanisms. And nothing is ever as straightforward as it is, as you might think it will be. So this is just a tutorial. It says, feed me and I shall or I shall survive. Give me a drink and I shall die. So what do you feed? I know that. I know the riddles are. What do you feed? And it survives, but if you give it water, it dies. Well, if you look on the bottom here, there it says air. I know it's not the answer. I know it's not the answer. You have air, you have water, and the solution. There's air, but here's fire. So I... No, it doesn't work yet. Yes. So we need the lens. We haven't gotten the thing. So let's get the key. So now we have this uh, peculiar old key. And if you look at it in the item thing, you can rotate it around. Now this is done a lot more in the second game, but in this game... Um, it's still important. So you see, you can rotate this, and you get different things. And that comes in. It comes in. Or it becomes important a lot later. I don't know. Can I move this? Yes. Okay. And I believe you just stick that in there. Turn the key. That opens this. This gives you a metal plate. Looks like it uses a wrench. Now, you notice the key didn't disappear, which means we still need it. And if I remember correctly. I know I'm supposed to use that, I just don't... Okay, I can move that. I think that's what that's supposed to be, right? Yeah. Turn that. That opens that. And we can't actually do anything with this yet, I don't think. So we still need the lens. So, let's go back here, and if you click on this, you'll notice it has this little diamond pattern. Let's stick that right on there. You know. Sometimes the, the, the turning can be a little weird. And there's the lens. Okay, so now we have the lens and the eyepiece, and you can see there's stuff everywhere. And there's this symbol, which well, you'll see a lot of. Um, there's lines and everything else, but you're, more importantly, you need this, or you need the lens to solve this. Because, if you look at this from here, you can't solve it. There's nothing there. But if you look at it through the eyepiece, you can see stuff. Now, you're supposed to make an image with this, and if I remember correctly, it's not that hard to do. Don't... Assuming I'm not an idiot and I remember how to do it. Come on. Oh. Who's there? Take that. I don't know where it's supposed to go. I was always terrible at doing this. So I know what it's supposed to look like. There we go. Okay. And obviously that opens mechanisms, and you open the box, and then inside the box is another box. Oh, well, let's take it off for a closer look. So that's just the tutorial, essentially, teach you how to do everything. 
Um, it is not the whole game, obviously. That was only five minutes. And now we have another box. So, we have these three locks on here. And obviously we have nothing in our inventory. So we only have these three locks. And that's all we have. Oh, don't pause. Now, it says there must be a way to get in. And that's true. Uh, if I remember correctly... Now one of the things about this game that I don't like is that you have to, like... The game kind of expects you to just notice things like this. Like, it expects you to notice the fact that one of the feet is different. Um, or that this over here... Click on it. That this right here can be turned. Like, if, if this is the kind of game where you would never expect that something random like that could be turned, um, then this is not the game for you. Now, uh, there was one other thing I was supposed to remember to do. Leave. This opens... Oh, wait, no, yeah, that was exactly right. You have to remember to click on that. Get this book, and there's a symbol there. That symbol's important. Now, this is obviously ornate, and it's a puzzle. You have to open the book. I believe you have to open the book. So turn these. No, no, too far. That's one thing I don't like about this game is that the puzzles tend to be a little annoying. Okay, so do that. Click there. It opens the book. Okay. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all, but there is something there. Between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. Is the final element null? Really? You're going to call it null? Call it anything else. Ether? Soul? I don't know. Call it anything but null. Null, this doesn't sound good. It brings meaning to the rest. Just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero, which is a lie. Um, because zero wasn't invented until the Middle Ages or by uh, Arab scientists. So, there you go. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold, it is the pursuit of this. Oh good, we have a high-minded idealist. Anyway, so we'll get that, which is this wind-up key, and the book disappears because we no longer need it. Now, you might notice that this right here, this right here, look awfully familiar. And that's because it's a clue. So obviously go over here, and we need... is that one, right? Nope, nope. Stop. Uh, plus sign on top, squiggly thing on the bottom. Now we know this one is a crown symbol. Or whatever... And yeah, it looks like that. Uh, there's one more we gotta find. One more we gotta find. I don't remember. Oh, and this right here, see this box right here that looks kind of weird? You can see through these and you get some weird psychedelic uh, image. Now, anyway, you'll see there's a 7 over there, there's a 5. And then we gotta look at the bottom. Sort of make a shape. There's six on the bottom, and I believe this is going to be a two. All right, so we have two, two, five, seven, six. I believe was it two, five, not five, seven, six. Okay, and that opens, and you pulled it. Flip the little switch there, now this opens up. Pops this out. Well, we don't have a telescope. Or anything that goes... Actually, we do have a telescope. It's right there. Hey, another note. February 11th. My research continued... Wait, didn't we... Wait, didn't we already read this? Well, we already read that in the book. I guess they just didn't expect you to read the book. Anyway. So, get this. Oh, you have to open it first. Sure. Return this thing. Oh, here, there you go. There we go. All right, open this. Hey. Oh, I have to click on it first. There we go. That goes there. This goes here. Set that on fire. This pops out. Move that over. This lights up. Now... I think that's all we need to do. Nothing seems like I got this contraption working. Oh, I remember now. So we got all that lit up. That lit up. Uh, we got to go over here though. 
Take that off. Goes in here. Turn the thing. And now this starts spinning. So now we can look at it. You see, there's a guy sitting there looking at a thing. Yes, yeah, so what it wants you to do is use the eyepiece first. And then... No, no. Wait, what? No. Let me... No, let me see it. Why are you doing that? Oh, there you go. Okay, so now when we look at the IPs, it says trial. Um, and that's a clue. That's trial. What that's a clue for is that thing you may have seen right here. It needs five letters. We only have four. It currently says cowl. So go down here. Look at this. And turn this around. And there you go. Now you can solve that one even without looking at it that way. Uh, because of this. You actually don't need to look at it that way like I just did. Anyway, go over here. It says cowl. What do we know? It's supposed to say trial. So... T-R... Oh, there it was. I... A-L. Okay, so that goes back in there somehow. And, okay, one seal opened. And now this opens, and now there's another box. There's boxes inside of boxes. Now, if you're like me, the first time I did this, I got really confused. Um, because that, because this game does this thing where you stop understanding what you're supposed to do a lot of the time. Because you're like, okay, I opened this, now what do I do? Because you require things that are only you get from other things, like this. So now we need to finish looking for the other two pieces. Actually, you only need three, and then you can just... Oh, there it is. forgot about that. Okay, so it's the crosshair symbol thing. That was top left. Yeah, top left crosshair symbol. There it is. And then I believe we can just... There, you can just flip that one. You get the key. Now, you need this key. I don't think this key rotates at all. No. It doesn't, but you need that key to use this thing. If I remember correctly, it doesn't actually work here if you try it. Yeah, it's right shaped, the hole isn't tall enough. I believe you actually need to do something else with this key. No, I want to... Yes, I know. I wanna op can I not open this? I guess I can't open that right now. Oh, I remember now. Oh, wrong key. Could have sworn that's what I was supposed to do with it. Okay, now this looks complicated, and you're like, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, if you see, these are the symbols for earth, water, uh, fire, and air. What you're really supposed to do is make yourself kind of nauseous by rotating this around uh, until the little lights fall upwards, essentially. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right, and then this comes out, and you see this little note right here on this thing that you can't click on. So you look at it this way, and then you're like, okay, how do I... You remember that little symbol on the back of the tutorial box? It forms this. And then also, when you look at it, this is here. So you put the key in the thing, and turn the key again. He goes in there, this opens up. Yes, uh, there you go. And there's yet another key. Expect to see lots of keys. Okay. Now we can open this, I think. All right? Yes. There we go. And we get this little enameled, enameled brass star. And you see another key thing opens, which we don't have the key for. Uh, we also have this thing over here. But if you look up at top, right here, stick this in here, there's another note. June 21st. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. How do you know you succeeded if you only figured shit out after the fact? The no, all is beyond curious, being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. Yes, because... When you make a scientific discovery, you should always get really drunk beforehand. Anyway, so you get this. It's a brass ring with markings. And you see this thing over here. Now, this thing is important, but you don't know why yet. It does have a function. 
Before we do that, down here, put this on here. I believe. Leave. On. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is basically a safe. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four. F okay, so one, two. Damn it, stop it. One, two, three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. And this gives you two numbers. Um, now, if I remember correctly, you can brute force that if you want, but there's a clue to what the, the numbers actually are somewhere in... somewhere. I don't remember where. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> I'm dumb. They're like right there. Let's move, move. It's two and something. So that means there's only like five possibilities. It's 25. Grab the key. Make sure the key has no rotating parts. It does not. Over here. Fix the key in the thing. Wait, what? Doesn't fit like this. Oh, it does rotate. I'm an idiot. I literally just checked to make sure it doesn't rotate. And it rotates. Pretty sure that's the key key shape. No? Oh, yes, okay. Turn the key thing, grab the thing. Circular plate with a star emblem. Now you might notice that only the key thing changed, yet the end, the thing inside of it changed. Well, now that you've gotten this thing, over here, the thing and the thing, you're going to be sticking lots of things in other things in this game, just as a warning. And that opens this. Second seal is open. So now we just need to open this thing. Now, when I did this before, I actually solved all the puzzles out of order, and that made this really difficult, because I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, zoom out. If I remember correctly... I remember what I was supposed to do with this. Okay, I remember now. Okay, so you remember this thing that was up there before? Move that over. Move this up. And that lifts all this up. It might be going, oh man, look at this. What is this? Well, believe it or not, you can't open that. You need to make all of these go inside. And you might notice that there's all these little knobs right here. So, for example, we need to move the one with the circle completely around. And wouldn't you have it? There's one with a circle right here. When you move it, it moves up there. Now, there's one right here. It needs to be moved to top left. And then we need to find... I think the one up here is the square was up here. Yeah. So it actually needs to go up this way, I believe. Yes. Yes. And then we just need to move the triangle to down left. I remember where the triangle is. Uh, I got hung up on this one, I think, when I did it the first time. I played through this. It's a square. It's somewhere really obvious, I know, and I just got lost on it last time. Uh, da, 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 da. It's somewhere really obvious. Actually, oh wait, no, you can't open that just yet. <laughs> what am I doing? You can't open that yet. Okay, so that doesn't open yet. I had one of those moments where I just realized, I was like, wait a minute, I have to do one more thing first, I think. Move that. I don't remember where the last one is. I believe you have to do one more thing, and I'm trying to remember what that thing is. I need a key to open that. I need the screwdriver to open this. Move this. You need something else. And you can't move this yet, because you don't have the gemstone, which is behind the knight. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember the sequence of steps that you have to make. Because you need the gemstone that's behind this knight to 
get that, you need the shield. To get the shield, you need to solve this puzzle we're currently on. Wait, no, that's the square. You need the triangle. Somewhere really obvious, too. That's the, that's the thing. Is I remember this one being one that I couldn't find before. I found the stuff down there. That one's done. That one's there. I'm sure someone in the comments is going to be like, Can't you remember where this one is? Okay, you give me... Yes, I know that. I already know that. <laughs> the clues in this game are not very helpful. Um, they tend to be really vague, like they assume that the part of, your, the, part of the puzzle... I'll be honest, the hard part about this game is not figuring out what to do for the puzzles. The hard part with this game is figuring out um, where all the stuff for the puzzles is. This is really sad, because I couldn't remember. No, I already know that, and they don't come fast enough. Why don't you just click through them to get to the one you actually want? Um, one more thing I'm supposed to remember, because you need the gears for that. So that means it's one, there's one more I'm missing. I don't recall. Where did I fit? Where do you go? When in doubt, use the little eyepiece thing. But I can't zoom out anymore. Uh, da, da, da. It's one of these. Can't open that just yet because you need the key. To get the key, you need to open this, I believe. To open that, I need to find this other thing. So, she corresponds plates. Yeah, I know I've already found the plates over the cabinet. I have to figure out where the plates are. Great. Uh, I did that. Get the key to open this. That's not it. Wait a minute. I can't do anything there. I feel like there's something very obvious I've already missed. This is where I got hung up last time on this uh, on this exact spot because I can never remember where the four of them are. I test. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know that turning the other plates makes it match. I just have to figure out where this one is. Where's the triangle one? That's not helpful, game. That's what I mean when I say that the the um, clues aren't helpful. Because it's sort of like I Spy, I guess, more than the puzzle game. Once you know what the puzzles are, they're easy to solve. It comes down to figuring out what the puzzles actually are. So what I'm going to do, I think, is... I don't know, I might cut this here. And Nick, when I come back, I'll have figured out where it is. Because I'm clearly missing something extremely obvious. I'm... What the... Why am I zoomed in here? Pretty sure something happens here. Let me zoom in there, but wait a minute. Do I know that? No, oh, it's not where it is. Okay, I'm gonna go look really quickly because I don't want to spend 40 minutes looking up this, trying to find out where the hell this thing is. So I'll be right back. Be right back. So I'm back, and actually, it's funny is that I literally found it not five seconds after I cut the video there. Because, if you didn't realize, and I certainly didn't the first time I played this, and even right then, it's right here. You have to move this panel up, you have to see that there's the triangle here on the panel, which, when I looked at it, I guess I just saw one of those, like, triangles with an exclamation point, that I thought you had to open it, you know, through other means. No, you're supposed to open it like that, and while it's falling, turn it that way. So you can then open this. There's a gear and a rubber band. Of course I forgot. Of course I would forget that, of all things. Anyway, so while you're over here, you need to put the gear here. No. There. Move this back over, if you didn't already. Turn that so this goes up and rotates this dial, opening this, giving you the screwdriver. Again, once you figure out what you're supposed to do, once you get the pieces, you know what you're supposed to do. Wait, wrong way. Now you get to unscrew all of these one by one. Here you go. That shows this mechanism. Good. You gotta stop it like that. Get the peculiar, uh, peculiar, peculiar folding key. Anyway, you need that on this. So anyway, we need to look at this, and we need a little T-shape on top. Wait, no, don't. 
I have this in a window, so it's kind of causing me a problem. So anyway, you need the T-shape on top, which is not that. Actually, I think I can go either way. Anyway, T-shape on top, right? Yes, I know it's an oddly shaped hole. Bottom and top bump. Now go down. There you go. There we go. Okay. And that gives us a smaller or a medium sized cog. Or cog. Well, I would call it a small cog, but whatever. Anyway, that one goes here. Yes, you can take the cog off if you want. Now rotate that. Now this gives you another cog. That's all that was there for. Now, this cog goes here, I believe. And then you move this cog over here. Then you have to put the rubber band between them. I believe was the puzzle. Yep, put the rubber band and then crank the thing so it goes up. This starts spinning, press the thing. This rotates. You see this. You see a long or a long narrow steel tube. Pull the thing up, you get some kind of small key. And there's also an old photograph in here. Oh, uh, I believe there's something Yes, here we are. 605. So basically, if you look at this. Oh, I can't turn this yet, but you will, and you need that. Uh, now, this small key, I believe, goes here. Yep. Turn the key. Open this up. Now, you can move this over, but it's basically the same puzzle as before. You can rotate this, and you can move this, and the goal is to move it so that you can see the thing. So, like that see the thing. Now when you take this off, suddenly there's a shield here. Take this, or take the shield, go up to this golden knight over here, give him his shield. You will rotate around and give you an oval gemstone. Go back out, go down here, oval gemstone in the thing. Now if you look at, there's these little things, and if you remember this, it says 605. I don't know why it says Reverend 605, but it does. Before you ask, no, you cannot brute force this, because if you go past it, it's not going to do. So you'd have to stop at every one. Okay. So you stop it there. Now that goes back in. Close this back up. And now the third one has opened, and now there's another box inside of the box. And the chapter is complete. And it taunts you by saying, pleasing progress, but do you really think you have proven yourself yet? And it asks to continue. So next time on The Room, we will continue and continue solving these boxes. See y'all next time.